Today I'm preparing a feast for my daughter Zeynep's birthday. March 28th is my daughter's birthday and this year it coincident with the month of Ramadan. The day before her birthday I asked to my daughter which dessert you want from me, a cake, profiterole which she loves or cheesecake. She said cheesecake. Okay. Next day for my new iftar menu for the channel I was planning to make a mantı soup and demirindi şerbeti, tamarindi şerbet. I also had a different main dish on my mind, but I wanted to ask to my daughter, since it's the Ramadan and we are fasting, just tell me which recipe you want me to make for the dinner. She said, you wouldn't accept my choice. I said, tell me, it's pizza, she said. She was right. I usually go for classic Turkish recipes since I also share what we eat for the channel. I said, okay, we're gonna make pizza today. So this is how from east to west our interesting match of menu was created. So first the demir in the sherbet, the tamer in sherbet. The drink is coming from the Ottoman times, very famous. It has a rich source of vitamins and many antioxidants. So this is the sherbet drink I tried, tamarind, demirindi. Çok güzel. So I can make it. This is 450 grams. I used half of it. The day before I washed it and soaked it in two cups of water overnight the next day i transfer it to a big pan added one liter more water along with spices i have one cinnamon stick three of each star anise and cloves and two pieces of fresh ginger I needed to break the tamarind a bit and boiled everything for half an hour. After it cooled down a bit, I strained everything from a fine strainer. And at this point you can either, while it is still warm, you can either sweeten the sherbet with sugar or honey. I wanted to try both version. So one half I sweetened with some sugar and the other half later with honey. It's up to you how much sugar you want to use. So I would suggest you to make a simple syrup by boiling some water and sugar and add enough while tasting until you have the desired sweetness. I'm going to chill completely my tamarind sherbet and it will be ready to serve. Next, the creamy manta soup with saffron and peppers. If you love manta or ravioli as my daughter does, you're gonna definitely love this soup. I prepared a pasta dough using one egg fourth of a cup water, about one cup flour first and a pinch of salt and added enough flour until it is a stiff smooth dough. You can definitely knead by hand. I shaped it into a bowl, placed it in a freezer bag and let it rest for half an hour. And for the filling, I simply grate a half of onion and a clove of garlic finely, added ground beef, some salt, black pepper, finely chopped parsley, mixed everything well and my filling is ready. My dough is rested well. So it's very easy to roll out. Roll as much as you can. 
would be nice to have a bit thinner about 2 ml in thickness in half way I used Turkish oklava but you can also make it with regular rolling pin cut the dough into squares either with knife or a pizza cutter would also work even better and place generously from the filling it is really fun to make and shape it especially if you have someone with you to help while closing the mantel pieces and in our case the birthday girl Zeynep helped me to close it after placing from the filling First you fold the square into rectangular and then bring the two corners together and create the shape. As another option you can also try to get frozen mantas which we have in Turkey. You might find it in the Middle Eastern stores. Even try to make it with frozen raviolis. While Zeynep finished shaping the mantas, I begin to make the base. I have one medium sized onion, one each red and yellow bell pepper. I diced everything finely before I begin to saute. That day we had an interesting weather as well. During the day we had both snowy and sunny hours. It was nice to watch the snow but I was also praying for the sun to show up while setting my table during sunset. In my soup pan I'm heating 2 tablespoons of butter and a bit of olive oil. First saute the onions and then added the red and yellow peppers. Also added roughly chopped two cloves of garlic. I'm gonna soak a pinch of saffron threads in some warm water. Saffron is probably the most expensive spice in the world. It makes the soup richer, gives some flavor and color, but it is still optional. You can use turmeric if you like. Added about a tablespoon of heaped flour and saute it with all the veggies. Adding some frozen meat stock and more hot water for about 3 cups. Here our saffron water comes and I boiled for about 5 minutes until the peppers are soft. Gently added the shaped mantas, stirring while adding so they don't stick to each other and continue to boil until the manta pieces comes up, which means they are cooked. My manta soup is almost done. The only thing I have to add it is to heavy cream. First I lightened the cream with some soup and gently drizzled to the soup while stirring. You can also add milk which I added mix of it to make it lighter. And finally season it with some salt black pepper and dried mint. We add the salt at the end so the cream doesn't curdle. Next I made the pizza. It is nothing fancy. I used my uh, simple dough recipe which is also similar to Ramadan pide. So I doubled the amount and with the half of it I made pizza. 
use some uh, red and green peppers and some sujuk pieces and with the other half I made Ramadan pide which again you can check the links for the recipe As for the cheesecake, I made New York style cheesecake with the Turkish ingredients we can find in Istanbul and prepared a strawberry sauce on top. And I was happy to see the sound back on our kitchen just right on time. The soup is really nice, uh, creamy, delicious. Another way to enjoy the beautiful mantı. Idea was to please my daughter and she was happy. And that's it my friends. Give it a try the recipes, especially the mantı and also the sherbet. It is very delicious. Don't forget to like my video. Please leave a comment to support. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode. Afiyet olsun.